Hey everybody, Tire Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's enjoying their weekend. So, a couple things that I'm really looking to discuss, and it's really going to be more so towards the long range. We're kind of just taking a look more or less at our current um, picture right now, especially over towards the northeast, because that's the only thing where we really have a whole lot going on at the moment. And even then, it's not like it's a lot. We do have some wintry precipitation in the picture here, and that's going to continue for this region throughout tonight and maybe even into the morning hours do have to be on the lookout for a little bit of travel um, hazards here considering the fact that we're going to have a little bit of a slush on the ground here maybe a little bit of ice too impacts are going to be relatively minor from the looks of it right now for those of you over here towards Syracuse Albany Boston that are starting out as rain eventually at some point tonight we could anticipate a little bit of a switch over to some snow it's not going to accumulate majorly but it is going to maybe cause some travel disruption for sure here so just be on the lookout for that so that being said into the main part of the video we go here it's bright but the main things that we're going to be making note of is really going to be more so towards the longer range in the short range if we look at both severe weather and winter weather not really a whole lot to talk about next three days definitely not going to be too concerned with severe weather even thunderstorms may not even be possible as we head towards the end of the month here and then as we look towards the winter weather side of things the uh winter storm severity index over the next three days a couple of pockets here and there where we could see some minor to moderate impacts that's mainly going to be towards our suspect spots over here towards the rockies further down the line here and then of course over towards where we have ongoing uh winter weather going on right now that cold rain and maybe a little transition to snow here what i want to make note of in particular with severe weather it's really not a major thing but as we get towards days seven and eight here on the outlook i do see the change from potential too low to predictability too low so down the line here and i'm really thinking this could be more of a florida type setup this is where we are looking at the potential for severe weather here we'll get into the details with that actually right now so let's go ahead and switch over to our model data here we have two models that we're looking at over here this is the euro to the left and this is the gfs to the right we kind of go from left to right here so if anyone's more familiar with the channel you pretty much know how we do things but starting out with the euro and there's a couple of time frames i want you to make note of here it's going to be really more so towards the fifth where I'm looking at a potential signal here, but I'm kind of on the fence about it because it's been kind of like toggling on and off for a bit here. So here's that here's that little next clipper system that's coming through here. May drop a little bit of light snow, but it's not going to be anything of real significance over the course of the next few days. But watch what happens as we go forward here. And this is also going to be a catalyst behind why we get a lot warmer temperatures over here towards the heart of the country and then eventually out even towards the east here it's this ridge that comes into play almost even kind of reminds me of the omega block that we had last year it's not quite like that well actually i would say it is this kind of does look like an omega block comes into play but there is some good flow over here towards the south from our uh, subtropical jet here so this is why i'm kind of uncertain about calling it a true omega block but fact of the matter is we see some major league ridging going on over here towards the heart of the country and then what also ends up happening with this uh huge ridge here a trough starts to develop over here towards the northeast and with that in play and this little piece of energy coming in here where we have our uh, southern storm track here i find myself keeping an eye on this even though right now some models are kind of showing something others are not from what I'm seeing here, there could come a point where if the storm system interacts with some of this cold air that may be pushing from this ridge that's trying, that, or it seems like it's trying to dig, we could be looking at a winter storm setup. But like I said, GFS and Euro haven't really picked up on that signal coming into play too much, but that could be a point of interest. Really, I think this is going to boil down to a simple matter of timing here. If this ends up... Uh, progressing a little bit faster than what's being shown on here right now or this trough digs a little further to the south we could be talking a different story so the key things to make note of is one it's going to be this ridging right here towards the center of the country two is going to be this storm system and then three is going to be this troughing that we have here 
this digs a little bit further to the south here or off to the southwest we could be talking a snowstorm here maybe towards the carolinas maybe even georgia maybe even parts of the appalachian spine here ridge ridging i'm thinking is pretty much set in stone i've been seeing that trend for a while but it's really these two components here that are going to come into that are going to be what i'm watching the most it's going to be the key component to everything from that point onward but if this does come into play it could be a more significant snowstorm because southeast isn't necessarily as familiar with snowstorms in comparison to areas a little further up to the north but like i said that signal is not something i'm really willing to latch on to just yet and it's just that a signal there is a little bit of a trend that i've seen amongst the models but there's so much discrepancy still that it's kind of hard to really just latch on at this point also another thing to make note of here is with this storm system coming into play I do see a little area of evidence here where we could see maybe a little bit of severe weather towards the Florida Peninsula here as well. Hence what I was talking about with the day seven to eight outlook. So that's gonna be another thing that we're watching as we head into the following week, especially towards the end of that week. So that's gonna be something to watch. And then after that point, do start to see a little bit more activity towards the uh, weather pattern here as we go on more ridging comes into play here but also seeing a new trough beginning to kick in here so that's going to be a new point of interest over here so if we would compare that with the gfs it's going to be pretty much a similar deal here and like i said this is why i'm kind of like maybe i'm not discarding this is this signal is uh this is kind of bullish it's kind of bogus because if, if i see it on just one model run usually my mo is not really jump in uh, not to dive into it too deeply but to see this on i do see a similar thing going with the gfs here here's that same ridge here's that same trough and then here comes that storm system right here like i said timing is going to be a key factor in all of this if this comes into play like i said i think the uh, florida severe setup is a little bit more of a shoe in than maybe the winter weather setup but the thing that I've made note of with the uh, GFS in comparison is that this trough is a little bit more progressive. It, it, look, it seems like it's wanting to move more in comparison to what the Euro is showing. If it holds in place and digs like it's digging now, based on this run, maybe I'd be more inclined to push for a look at the winter weather side of things. But it's just kind of up in the air right now. And a little bit later, we'll probably see a new run come in and it might show something entirely different. So like I said not going to hype this up too heavily but definitely something that i'm making note of for sure and then as we continue to go forward here here's where i'm starting to see that potential severe weather setup come back into play here this could be an ozark maybe a tennessee ohio valley type setup as well as the southeast this could also be another setup where we could have some flash flooding coming into play as well and then from that point you can see that we get two different storm tracks starting to come into play here and it looks like cold air is still going to be dominant over the northeast as we go through that first week and heading towards valentine's day so like i said business does look like it's going to start to pick up after what is likely to be a relatively tame first week of february here you can kind of look at things at 500 millibars a little bit lower in the out in the uh, atmosphere here so with that lower altitude, we can usually get a better look at the storm system's intensity here. I think 500 millibars personally is my favorite altitude to look, is my favorite level to look at in the atmosphere personally. Just, you're just able to see even more. You can kind of still see a lot of the things you would see at 300 sometimes, but there's certain things at 300 that you're only going to be able to see at that altitude, at that level of the atmosphere versus let's say 500, 700, etc. But pretty much like i said similar deal here and the main detail that we're looking at at the 500 region is this one particular number here and that's the 540 line the 540 line is the 32 degree line and it's pretty much determined by the pressure here in these contours so what we end up looking for it looks like the 540 line is going to be a little bit further off to the north and east here but if we could get some moisture from this system coming into play here, maybe towards the Carolinas, maybe towards the mid-Atlantic, we could be dealing with wintry precipitation. But right now, it just kind of looks like uh, everything's not really uh, phased in or timed well together, so to speak. 
so i'm like i said i'm still kind of on the fence with it but it does look like at least towards the back end of this we do get some pretty considerable cold air coming in as we go through the sixth and into the seventh here also some high winds could come in along with that but here is a look at the gfs i did not mean to click that but this is what we're going to be looking at pretty much a similar deal here this is when we get into february right here there's that ridge that area of high pressure is really strong starts to dominate over the central part of the country but here's something that's a little bit different as well with the gfs in comparison to euro this storm system is a little bit more organized so i think the severe weather threat would increase more if the gfs scenario plays out but again this trough if it doesn't progress too quickly if it if it progresses a little bit but not too much and digs a little bit more i do think that there could be a couple opportunities for winter weather but look what happens as time goes on as that trough progresses outward and this may actually work in the benefit here because if the air is too cold usually we'll lose that moisture so like i said it's we're going to be like pretty much on the fringe here if anything does get going and still the question remains just how significant will that be at this current time with seven days out it's kind of a little too early to tell but definitely like i said there's some potential there because i mean i've been seeing people talking about this too so something to make note of here so big warm-up occurs of course after that point and then of course this is where i begin to have a little concern with severe weather here as we head towards the eighth here so we'll be watching that and then after that we start to see that increasingly active weather pattern start to come back into play as we head towards valentine's day so keep an eye on that be sure to be ready to make your make changes to your valentine's day plans if the weather gets a little bit nasty so that being said we'll actually take a look and see and how the uh, temperatures are affected by what we just saw here from the upper air patterns here so we'll start out with the euro we'll put this in a loop here and the main things to make note of here and i meant to actually have the temperature up so i'm going to adjust that real quick so here we go we got that fixed up now so here's the temperature outlook and from what we can see here like i said those first couple systems come in and then here is that troughing onto the north and east and there's that ridging out to the heart of the country eventually like i said as we start to shift into that more active weather pattern a little bit more cold air tries to take over out towards the east but when we do get that ridging here we start to even see some 70s coming to the equation here towards the southern plains in particular here so like i said i think the stage is setting up for a more notable severe threat down the line here for the month of february but the timing is really going to be the key to everything here that storm system does look like it's going to be pretty stout though so that might be an early sign of things but like i said too early to tell so don't necessarily uh say oh the winter storm is coming here we need to clean out shelves no that, that would actually make me pretty kind of like kind of mad at you because i'm like well what if it turns into nothing you're gonna have just nothing but as ryan hall says bread and milk sandwiches for the next week for no reason don't do that to yourself so that being said we're going to go ahead and shift over to the GFS and see exactly what that's showing, which is going to be pretty much a similar deal here. First part of the month, the first part of February, we see that ridging coming in, start to see those 60s and 70s, even making it, making it into Kansas. And then here is where we start to shift. That cold air starts to come in after the 5th, especially with that troughing that we were seeing over towards the northeast starting to dig. After that point, we get that active storm track and the weather starts to shift from that point. So last thing to really do here at this point is to look at the precip here. And what we'll ultimately end up seeing here is for the most part, a tale of two models. So starting out with the Euro, like I said, we see those couple clipper systems come in right around the end of this month and then Here's that ridging once again. Weather is a little bit more fair unless you're out towards the west where we have that little mixture of rain and snow going on. And then, like I said, it's really not until we get towards the third where we see that first storm system come into play. See that big old moisture tail right here out ahead of where this cold air is over towards the Rockies. 
and then here's that low that comes into play and we just don't really see the cold air really mix with the euro if we had a, a solution that was kind of in between the gfs and the euro i'd be way more on board with the uh, winter setup here but it just doesn't seem like that cold air meshes well with that moisture there are a couple spots where we could see some uh wintry precip here it could be ice it could be snow but like i said it's not really an impressive signal like it's kind of flickered on and off here and there like one run it'll be a little bit more impressive the next run it'll downtrend and we just kind of continue to see that we're just kind of continuing to see that trend here and it's pretty much going to be the same thing across the board with the gfs although that storm system like i said looks a little bit more pronounced on to there so here we go taking a look at those first couple storm systems rolling out a couple clipper systems for the northeast to watch out for as we get towards the beginning of the month and then here's our big storm system that we're going to be watching here's the hot topic so to speak and it's interesting to see that we may have two areas of low pressure here one that's going to be hitting hitting the uh pan the uh, peninsula of florida one that's going to be kind of a little bit further to the south here and depending on what this does and i don't really see a whole lot to, to discuss with this one maybe we could see a little bit of wintry pre precip here i'm not really on board with this one right now it just seems like the uh, moisture ultimately ends up outrunning the cold as that trough tries to dig and then eventually move its way out of here so like i said kind of a toss-up on these setups it just seems like neither one really wants to put that snow into uh into a solution here or the snow the snow just doesn't really seem to have a real solution here as of right now but like i said the signal's th potentially there so it's kind of something that we're going to be teetering on over the next couple of days here with these uh longer range setups that tends to happen sometimes as we continue to go forward here a little bit later down the line there's a couple of setups that catch my eye here this might be a severe weather setup as we go towards the 12th and then towards the 13th that we might see another setup here but like i said you're getting into the two weeks plus range kind of hard to really latch on to anything at that point but like i said we're going to enjoy a little bit of a period of fair weather here and then eventually we may be heading back into a more active pattern well, the cold air might come into play but we aren't seeing anything along the lines of polar type weather like we've been seeing here that being said hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like and a comment also if you're new around here definitely consider subscribing and also hit that share button as well so until next time it's been tired metalhead weatherman see you very soon until then enjoy the rest of your sunday 